since I left South Korea for traveling. Every single time I told to my friends, I am traveling. And they were saying, what? How is it possible? So today I'm going to tell you how I can travel. Let's start. Open the Google map. Find all countries where you want to go. Search the COVID rules of countries. If a country said yes, you can go. That's it. It's so simple. But I really don't recommend it because you know the answer. And if you really want to go, you should know that how I'm dealing with COVID-19. First, avoid crowds at a confined space. I think that's the most important thing. If you talk with someone who has a virus, it's really dangerous if you are at a confined space together. Of course, it's not okay to be in the open space with them. Second, be alone. I wanted to hike 1,000 kilometers with my girlfriend and some friends, but I was hiked alone. It was good choice. Actually, I really wanted to travel with a lot of friends because it's more meaningful. Third, follow the rules of the country. If they said no meeting, then don't meet. If they said take a test, then take a test. Fourth, take test a lot. You don't know that you have a virus before symptoms come. So, take a test a lot. Even if you don't have any symptoms, you can get infected and spread the virus. During over 60 days traveling, I got a lot of messages from my friends. You are wrong. You have to do not travel. Or, wow, you're incredible. Please be safe. Like this. I really understand that. And I always have to be careful. Because it's not only about myself. It's about all people. I'm not living here alone. I have to take care of other people. I think I gotta go now. Because I have an appointment for the test again. Let's do it together.